Hello friend, welcome back. In this video, I will discuss about a friend of this section, what you will build. So friend, we will develop one complete dynamic website with using Laravel 9. So that will be one of the basic project and it will help for all the beginner student who wants to create any dynamic website with using Laravel 9. So if you want to start it with the Laravel 9, that section will help you a lot. Cause I have covered basic every fundamental of Laravel 9 and also you will develop one complete project. So you learn it by doing. I hope you like it very much. Like first of all, here you can see how to install Laravel, how to load into the, you know, that is our founding theme. So how it can load some of the founding theme. I will show you everything with the live example. And you, as a here you can see it's very clean and very good looking one of the website so it's every part is totally dynamic so that will be our front end and that will be our back end so into the back end how can load some of the another admin panel theme i will also show you with the live example and also how can load that a laravel breeze authentication system i will show you that things like if you logging like that is a kazi and i want to put that one two three four five six seven eight now if you click as a login now you can see you are successfully logging and also display message as a user logging successfully. Okay, how can display some of the toaster message? I will also show you. And here you can see that is all that our menu. Like there is our home slider setup, that is a about page setup, and that is a portfolio setup, the block category, the block pages setup, footer page setup, and then the contact message setup. So I show you, please give me some time for this. So that will be, as I told you, it will be very much helpful for any beginner level student who wants to create dynamic website with using that Laravel. Like right now, that is all that our menu. And here you can see they have some of the title, they have some of the short description, and that is also one of the image. So you can manage everything from your back end. If you go to that our home, there is a home slide. If you open it, and you can see that is our title. If you want to change any title, you can change it. If you want to change that short title, if you want to change that video URL, so they have also one of the video URL here you can see that is a video so now if you want to change that video URL you can change it from here if you want to change that images and also for the images how can you install that image intervention package how can resize your all that images I will show you everything with the live example here if you change anything I make it as a time now I make it as a time now click as an update slide now automatically it will be updated and also you can see it's display one of the toaster message as a home slide updated without image successfully you can update with image rather than the without image and now if you go to your home page now that information should be updated if you now click as a refresh now you can see it's not successfully updated okay so it's as i told you every part is totally dynamic and that is our about portion and this about portion is also totally dynamic all the data now comes from our database and that is all that our multiple image i can add that multiple image at a time i will also show you that things with the live example like if you go to our um, dashboard and into this dashboard that is a about page setup if you go to that about page now you can see that is our about page all that information okay so now that is a title the short description that is some of the um, short title short description long description how can load some of the editor in here i will also show you everything one by one with live example and now you can see there is a app also an option for the about page and also if you choose any image like right now I choose this one you can see automatically that will be updated how can load this type of one of the functionality with using the JavaScript everything I will show you and that is our another part so here if you want to change any information uh, about page information you can change it from here and there is a multi part okay multi multi part means that is a multi images if you want to add if you go to our multi images part you can see that is all that our multiple image so from here you can edit that image if you want to delete it how can load that suite alert I will also show you with the live example as I told you all that basic fundamental I have already covered everything in here so by complete this section you will be able to create any dynamic website okay so here you can see there is a multiple images if you want to add that multiple images then option for the about that is about multi images now you can see there is an option for the multi images and from here if you want to upload that multi images at a time you can upload that multi images and when you will be updated 
automatically that will be loaded in here okay so now that is this part is totally also dynamic and the portfolio that is a all portfolio if you go to that all portfolio you can see there is all portfolio from here if you want to edit any portfolio you can also able to edit this portfolio so that is our portfolio page and if you now go to our home page into this home page right now that is our portfolio here you can see there have some of the name there is another title and also if you click it as a case study now that will be redacted to a specific this id related details page that is a portfolio details as a three id and you can see it's now successfully loaded all that information and every part here everything is dynamic okay everything actually comes from our database now everything is loaded successfully and if you go to that our portfolio that is our portfolio page page and into this portfolio you can see all that your portfolio is loaded in here so you can manage all that your portfolio from your back end so from to this position if you want to add one of the new portfolio you can also able to add one of the portfolio here only you have to use that one name portfolio title portfolio description and portfolio images okay then the automatically that will be loaded in your portfolio page so as i told you that part is also totally dynamic and again if you go to our home page into the home page our another part like that is our as i told you that is totally dynamic you can manage it from your back end and also there is another part that is our block part okay block part is also totally dynamic into this block part how can create the relationship to between two of this table i will also cover like you can see there is a category that is a block category there is a another block category and also there is there is a react block category related one of the post okay so if you go to that our details page it should be written redirect to the blog details page with a specific one of the id now you can see it's now displayed our title appropriate specific this id related title images it is displayed the time title and also is displayed total description it's total part is totally dynamic and also how you can load that tag you can see it's also display the tag and that is all that our recent blog is loaded all that our category is loaded so this category you can manage it from your back end you can see there is a block category there is all block category if you go you can see there is all that block category if you want to add one of the new category you can add this category if you want to edit it you can able to edit it if you want to delete it you can also able to delete it so now that is totally dynamic and also if you want to get that categorize all that post like if you get that um, Facebook so Facebook related related all that blog post will be loaded one by one you can see there is a two post right now so there is a two post is visible and if from here if you go to the details page you can able to go to the details page so how can get that um, categorize all that data I will also cover everything one by one with live example okay that is our blog details page if you go to that details now you can see now it's redacted to the blog details page so now you can see that is our blog details page and blog details everything is successfully display okay so how can do this work I will show you every part one by one with live example and that is our about us page so here if you can manage all that your blog from to this blog category and also there is a blog page if you go to that our all blog right now that should be all that our blog okay so you can see that is all that our blog and here there is a blog category if you go to that our add blog so from here if you want to add that blog you can see all that our blog category related blog is now successfully loaded blog title here you have to add you can add that multiple tags as per your demand there is a blog description all the details and also from here you can upload that images okay and then you can able to add that block data then the block data will be inserted and it should be displayed in our all block okay now you can see that is our about page so that is totally dynamic everything actually now comes from our database okay so you can manage every information from our back end and that is our about page setup okay so as i told you uh, that is every part is dynamic and that is our portfolio that is our blog if you go to our our blog so now all that our block will be loaded one by one you can see there is all that our block is total load, totally loaded and that is totally dynamic all that our block category is loaded if you want to get that categorize all the data how can do this work i will show you all that our recent block the time everything is visible okay everything is visible and then that is a contact me if you go to our contact me page and into this contact me page there is a location and here there is also one of the submit form if you want to add some of the submit form like i name it as a test okay for now i make it as a test i make it as a test at the rate gmail.com i make it as a this is test 
okay and then i just put some of the phone number i put some of the messages so if you want to send that message in your font in how you can load that toaster i will also show you like if you can click on the send message now you can see it's written directly to the back page it's so back page it show as your message submitted successfully now if you go to your database that is in your back end into this back end if you go to that contact message you will get all that your contact you can see now there is a new contact i have submitted and 12 second ago now that is successfully visible and from here if you want to delete it now click as a delete it all now that should be deleted you can see your message deleted successfully and then, then that is totally gone from to this position and also there is a footer setup if you want to update your footer all the data right now that is our footer part right here if you want to update that phone number if you want to update that short description address email and also the social link you can see there is a facebook um, slash ali and um, twitter slash ali so that is totally dynamic and also that is our footer copyright okay everything you can manage it from your back end you can see that is all that your number short description address email email facebook url twitter url and copyright if you want to change anything after the if you click as the update footer automatically that, that will be updated in here so as i told you friend that will be very much helpful for any beginner level student i have covered almost every functionality and also if you go to our admin into this admin there is an option for the profile if you go to that profile you can see you are able to change your profile the name the which user is logging the current user name is vis visible email is visible and username is visible if you go to that edit profile and that is our edit profile page okay now you can see there is an edit from here if you want to update name update Update that user email update that user name and also if you want to choose any new images you can choose it as per your demand automatically that will be updated and when you click as the update profile your profile will be updated successful and also if you go to our change password option so into the change password that is our old password here there is a new password and confirm password and also I added multiple validation in here if you click as a submit all you can see there is a old password is required the new password is required confirmation password is required so from here if you also put an inappropriate old password and if you put that new password automatically then that will be get another validation okay there is a confirm password and new password is not match and also if you put inappropriate old password also that will be get another validation message like right now i'm logging with the kazi and for the kazi my current password as a one two three four five right now i put inappropriate some of the password and then i make it as a one two three four five you do me one two three four five okay now if you click as a change password now you can see it's now show some of the validation as the old password is not matched so how can show some of the flash message i will also show you that things with a live example and also if you go to the logout i click as a logout now you can see you are successfully It'll show as a one of the message as you user log out successfully and here i have already discussed about that things with you by default when you install that laravel breeze package with the breeze package you can able to log in with the email and the password so how can logging with the username i will also show you that things with the live example that like here right now i'm putting that kazi as the one of the not that email address that is one of the username right so with this username if you want to log in like i put it and now click the submit now you can see you are successfully logging by the username not that email so how can logging with the username i will also show you that things with the live example so now there is a logging page if you go to that our register so you do the register that is also successfully loaded and also if you want to get that as a forget password how can working with this forget password i have already covered it if you want to validate your email address how can validate your email address everything i have covered in particular this section so as i told you friend that will be very much helpful for beginner level a student who wants to just start with the laravel and by this sec section i believe you are able to create any dynamic website with by using that laravel so here we are using laravel 9 let us version so with this laravel 9 how can create all that your routes how can manage all that your routes everything one by one i will show you everything with the live example i hope friend this section will help you a lot so if you're ready then let's get started and also i have shared lecture by lecture all that code i push all that code to the github so if you stack you will get every references from here i hope this is something you are interested in if you are then go ahead i will see you in the next video